And here we are in the garage. Welcome everybody, Zach here. Just doing a little update. It's April and the bike is not looking too ready. I ordered a lot of parts and what is this box you might ask? Well, I don't know if I'll open that tonight. I gotta pull the head off this. Uh, doing bearings. Bearings are the big thing right now. This is a mess. But especially the linkage. So we're going through all that. Oh. What's real disappointing is this bolt. This is like the M14 bolt that goes through the linkage here. It's kind of scuffed up. This is like a $40 part. Ridiculous. Got my shock off. I'm going to get this thing. I got to do something with this. I don't know what. Hey everyone, just jumping in here. I had to put the wrenches down on the dirt bike and get on the trials bike because I signed up for my very first trials event. Very exciting, but I needed some practice. So I'm out in the yard. Oh, close. Practicing. Jesus. Okay. That was my practicing how to fall. But here we are at the event. I am working on putting this video out next week. It's so cool. This is a whole different world of things. I'm really excited for this. I'm sure you guys will enjoy it. So stay tuned. Back to the bike. Update, so I got the power valve covers off and tank and everything. So we're in here now. Um, nothing surprising or anything. Just, you know, going through it. A little bit of oil on this side I kind of cleaned out. I gotta, I'm going to clean this up real nice, but... Yeah, then we'll pull the jug off, take a look at the, the piston, the rings, the heart of the engine, and uh, hopefully, hopefully things are good. It's snowing. Middle of April, and it's still snowing. This sucks. So guys, I have to apologize. I don't think I'm going to be able to get a video done other than this one that you're watching right now. So we got some things to unbox. I got some things to review. We got a lot to do. And, well, the season's coming up quick. So it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. Right now I got to clean this power valve. Look at this thing. Holy cow. You know, that, that doesn't help. So just a tip here as we come along. Cleaning the power valve here. I find that the razor blade actually works better than the wire brush, at least for the big stuff. Then I'll go in and polish it up with the brush. But yeah, this is nasty. See, this is what you want to clean off. Oh, yeah. Anyone hungry? <sighs> power valve is clean. Holy cow. I There, was a, there were spots. Look at all this debris here. I think I took off a quarter inch of buildup. I mean, and if anyone, you know, if you don't know what the power valve does, this goes in your, this is kind of hard to see, but your, it goes in the front. So this is, this is basically where your exhaust pipe's gonna come out. And this flap opens up as your RPMs increase. And that works by this, well, let's show you this, this little actuator arm here. And inside the case, there's like this centrifugal thing that spins and when it spins up fast enough so when your rpms get high enough your arm raises or it might lower i don't know which way it goes but anyway it turns this well it's not together but it turns these pieces and opens this flap but when it opens up that's when you hear that Wah! if you know I'm, I'm just curious you know this area this you know opening if it's all clogged up, you're losing some power there. And then there's also some ports on the side here. Let's take this out. These are the, these work the same way. They open and close. It's actually worn. There's like a little bit of a worn edge on it. So these rings are due. And this blow-by here definitely tells you, hey. And it's getting by both rings. So you're losing power. That, yeah, that's, that means you're losing power. 